It's now time for the main assembly line. Here, the fire truck starts to come together with some of the most critical component installations. Teams assemble all the finished parts from frame up, fabrication, and paint. But the next build step gives this fire truck major muscle the engine. Diesel engines are the driving force behind every fire truck, sending power to built in hydraulic generators that run the aerial devices, lights, and other critical parts. Pierce equips all its trucks with basic diesel engines. But it's up to the fire department to decide what kind of engine power plant they want. And most important, how much raw horsepower. We use several different engines in our fire apparatus. It can be either a Cummings, Caterpillar, or Detroit diesel engine. A forklift wheels engines into a small staging area. This is a 515 horsepower Detroit Series 60 diesel engine. This engine's known for its turbocharged pickup, fuel efficiency, and the ability to handle extreme conditions. Running smoothly at temperatures over 100 or as low as 40 degrees below zero. An overhead crane lowers the assembled engine into place in the frame. With so much wiring already installed, assemblers must execute the engine drop to the exact inch. There's thousands of dollars worth of harnesses and components that are already installed in that frame. It's a very tight fit and you don't want to wreck anything. 